We now have Suresh who's called in from Coimbatore. Uh, Suresh, uh, what is your question? Uh, uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yes, Suresh. Uh, yeah, so the point is uh, after this yesterday's announcement mm -hmm. about uh, this uh, banning 500 and 1000 rupees currency notes, so that's a big step towards black money uh, control. The other point is regarding property. There is a wide, huge gap between the market price and the guideline value. Right. But every, uh, this is a very practical uh, question, uh, I mean, not uh, openly discussed in studios. But let me say that if even Koyamuthur Prime Area or uh, RS Puram Area, uh, 436 square feet, that is we calculate as one cent, it is guideline value is 20 lakhs rupees. But the market value is somewhere around 35 to 40 lakhs rupees. Hmm. So how would this impact the real estate? Will it go down? Will government will come in and raise the guideline value? Guideline value has to be somewhere closer to market value. This is very practical uh, difficulty situation. Right. So, One Suresh, essentially you want to know whether the government's step to curb black money, will that have yes. any bearing on the guideline values, which is also called circle rates, which is also called ready reckoner rates Absolutely. across the country. Absolutely. Right? There is huge difference between guideline value and market value. And if someone has a registration in December or another 10-15 uh, days, hmm. how to go about it? Because you can't have a registration, I mean, 20 lakhs ke jaga pe 40 lakh ka registration kaise kar hai percent? You know, it is, no, no. It is absurd. Suresh, right. Suresh, let me, let me clarify. First of all, the, the circle rates which are there are basically the minimum rates at which you are supposed to have the transaction. Now, if your transaction is lesser than that, then the circle rate will be taken as the rate for the purpose of capital gains as well as for the purpose of payment of stamp duty. Okay, so now supposing as you said that okay, the, the, the circle rate is 20 lakhs, but the actual rate is 35 lakhs. Okay, what stops you from going and uh, going ahead and doing a, 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 a agreement at 35 lakhs? Why should you take uh, 15 lakhs cash? Nobody is forcing you to take 15 lakhs cash. Please go ahead and do the uh, transaction at 35 lakhs. Right. Uh, Pankaj, and I think the problem also arises in certain markets where the circle rate is higher than yes, the actual I, I was coming uh, that. rate That's that um, uh, pro precisely, you know, precisely. property is being sold at. So, actually, therefore, you know, because in, in, in a country like this with so much variations and so much depending upon locations and hmm. Uh, hmm. view and, you know, various other things, it's impossible to get to a, a perfect market rate. Now, two buildings which are across the road, on the same very road, but they are just across the road. They have different One rates. is a wonderful uh, five-star building, one is an old dilapidated building. The circle rate will be the same. So how do you justify that? You can't. And the price obviously cannot be the same. Hmm. Therefore, this is more of a guidance. That anything lower than that, uh, it is not acceptable. But higher than that, you can please go ahead and do it. No, there's no, nobody stopping you. No, but uh, this, this uh, what, what was announced by the Prime Minister yesterday shouldn't really have a bearing on uh, the guideline values and that shouldn't really be the trigger for uh, state governments, you know, actually stepping forward and uh, altering circle rates. Do you see that happening? No. Because no, there no. really I, I is no this will have uh, any connect connection between with both of them. No, no. Yeah. But however, there is a problem and this is a problem in a number of markets, especially in markets like Delhi and Kolkata at least, where transactions are actually not happening because circle rates are much higher yeah. than uh, what is the actual uh, rate at which uh, the market is transacting, buying and selling properties. If you're stuck in a situation like that, then, I mean, you are obviously at a loss because you're expected to pay stamp duty at the circle rate, which is much higher. What do you do then? No, it's not only the stamp duty, then the consideration also will have to flow accordingly because otherwise Section 50C hmm. and 50, Section 56 of the Income Tax Act, they will, uh, you know, come upon uh, the seller as well as the buyer. Right. So both of them will be ca uh, caught in that net and there will be additional tax to be paid by the buyer as well as the seller. So on the same amount, say say going back to what we are, you, you were saying, supposing the value as per the circle rates is 5 crores hmm. and the actual value is only 3 crores. Okay, I don't mind for a moment I will go and pay the stamp duty at 5 crores. Hmm. But the moment I pay stamp duty at 5 crores, the seller will be charged capital gains on 5 crores. Right, right. Okay, and the buyer will be charged uh, uh, saying that this 2 crores of rupees because actually he is not going to pay 5 crores. So actually he will do the transaction at 3 crores. So the buyer will be said that okay, you have paid only 3 crores so you got the property cheaper by 2 crores. Now on 2 crores you pay uh, tax as income from other sources.
right so, so these are the present consequences so pankaj very what would you advise in in a case like this where you are getting lesser than circle rate for your property uh, sell it or hold and wait for another buyer to come your way that's a very personal decision because that depends how desperate you are to get either acquire or sell the property mm. right but what you do need to remember is that stamp duty is charged on the circle rate or on the agreement value whichever is higher, higher yes. so if the circle rate is higher you will need to pay stamp duty on the circle rate you can watch live tv on our website mpnow.in find us on facebook at facebook.com/magicbricksnow and don't forget to click the like button you can also follow us on twitter at magicbricksnow To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/magicbricksnow.